it's this idea that you have to be perfect. You have to get involved in everything possible. You need to maintain a 4.0 GPA and get into an Ivy League school to be successful. This is the mindset I was raised to have. I am a 20-year-old Latina. I have struggled with bipolar disorder for my entire life. But instead of trying to understand it, I buried it under a seemingly normal life. It all started when my real dad left me when I was three years old. It was a difficult time for me. I remember crying and feeling completely alone. It was hard for me to understand the emotions I had. I felt abandoned, alone, and scared. I didn't feel like I could talk to anyone at the group home. These people weren't my mom. They wouldn't understand. My schedule was packed with a debate team, honors classes, student council, and basketball. At one point, I was working 32 hours a week and taking 18 college units. I had a social life, a love life, and my family to spend time with. I was overwhelmed. I had no one to talk to and no one to support me when I discovered that I was a homosexual. My classwork began piling up. I seemed to have no time for any of it. My grades began to drop, and I was doing poorly in all my extracurriculars. When I saw my perfect future slip away from me, I gave up. I ended up not even graduating. All my emotions were left bottled up inside, and I went into a phase of depression. I had refused to take my medication, and I became manic. I started cutting. I still have scars in my arms and my legs. I recovered after nine visits to the psych ward, but right now I'm struggling with the fact that I might be transgender also. Dealing with this is really difficult in a society that can often be hateful towards the LGBTQ population and use phrases like, that's so gay. But I continue to tell myself that people's opinions are their own and that they do not define me. It was the base support of my family and friends that helped me change my outlook and push me through. They helped me discover I could get my GED, start a community college, and then transfer to a state school, which is where I currently attend. I learned how to cope when I started writing poetry. It was an easier way for me to vent my feelings. Seeing my words come out onto paper was exhilarating. Letting my emotions out through writing was a way that I could get rid of all the negative energy that I had been bottling in. I started to take my medication again. Life got better. Life always gets better, I realized. But in order for life to get better, you have to be alive. My therapist introduced me to something called the bag of tricks, which are different things I can do to express myself without the temptation of negative behavior. One of these outlets is cross-dressing. Through cross-dressing, I've been able to find a fun way to experiment with who I am safely. I noticed how writing out my emotions could affect how I felt, how others felt, and ultimately how others treated me. I discovered that through my writing, I could create change. I decided I wanted to give back what I had been given. I wanted to bring awareness to the different kinds of mental health services that are available, especially for the Latina community. What I've discovered is there's no formula for success. Just because you do things a little bit differently doesn't mean you're not going to be happy. Success is different for everyone. You just have to let it all out. I'm a cross-dressing homosexual, and I'm proud of it. I have found my purpose. Learning to love yourself may be difficult but the feeling of truly appreciating who you are is more powerful than any of the adversity you will have faced along the way.